Hey everybody, hope you're all doing well and having a great day. I'm having one heck of a day, but it's been a really great reminder of how often I talk to my patients about infection prevention and infection awareness, and I thought I would do a quick PSA online as a reminder for all of you. Very long story short, I've been treating a gentleman for his lower extremity lymphedema for many months, and we finally were doing great, seemed to have turned the corner, patient had been feeling really good, feeling like he's getting his independence and mobility back, and after our visit on Monday, said he had his first dinner out with his family planned for Tuesday night. So he went to dinner, had a great time, but immediately upon coming home, he reports he got sick and thought maybe he had some food poisoning. The next morning, Wednesday, which was yesterday, he woke up and couldn't even get out of bed. He just felt awful. He felt like his heart was racing. He felt aches and pains all over. He did call his doctor and reported those symptoms and the doctor suggested either Tylenol or Advil, I can't really remember. But he, patient says within one hour, he had broken into a cold sweat, of course, indicating a fever. We had another visit scheduled for this morning for his lymphedema, and immediately upon seeing this patient and looking at his legs, I knew he had an infection. The leg was very red, very hot to touch. It was sensitive to my touch as well, and I, I just knew. So we immediately called his doctor again. I spoke to the triage team, and based on the symptoms and the amount of time that had elapsed since the symptoms began, he was sent to the emergency room. I'm thankful that I was able to help the family get him into the car and whatnot, and I just got the report back that the hospital is keeping him overnight for IV antibiotics, and he He's hopefully already on the road to recovery. But the biggest thing that I want to get across is that when you have lower extremity lymphedema, it's very common for one leg to be bigger than the other. And our treatment had been focusing on this bigger leg. However, the signs of infection were on his other leg. So even just a small amount of fluid and stagnant lymph in that other leg was the site of the infection. So perhaps a small scratch, an itch, something that he hadn't even considered looking at or monitoring was the cause of this infection. So the PSA is this, if you have swelling, make sure to constantly check and examine the limb for signs of an infection, changes in skin or whatnot, but the rest of the body needs to be checked and addressed as well, especially if you know you have a generally slow lymphatic system. These symptoms sometimes show up somewhere else and oftentimes completely out of the blue just when you feel like you're doing great. So please use this as a reminder to take care of your skin, keep it hydrated as the weather gets warmer, keep yourself um, aware of any changes in redness or pain that you might have. If you only see a little bit of redness and you don't know what to suspect sus and you don't know what um, might be going on, outline the borders in pen or marker and check it in just a few hours to see if the redness has expanded beyond those borders or if anything is changing. If it is, call your medical team immediately. Perhaps you can get on oral antibiotics to treat it, but if you wait too much longer, you might be like my patient and have to go to the ER. So I hope this has been a helpful reminder. Please let me know if you have any other questions uh, regarding infections or skincare. I'm happy to address them, and um, I hope you're all feeling good.